Series 3 is on the way. Here's all the info and all the ways you can try to prepare for the next series update in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. What's going on, everybody? What's good? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto, and breaking news late. Breaking news a Friday drop. EA Sports went ahead and decided to release Madden Ultimate Team Series 3 update information to us on a late Friday night. Not that late, it's about eight, almost nine o'clock. Um, they released it about 8 30 Eastern time, but it's good. We got information this time as opposed to from the series one, the series two update. We got some info about series three. But before we jump into all that, if you're new here, appreciate you stopping by. Hit the subscribe button down below. You can get notified anytime I'm live with new content by hitting the notification bell right next to it. You can also show your love by hitting the thumbs up button. If you get 30 likes on this video, 33-0, we will open a bundle to kick off series three. It's the best time to open packs, so why not? Let's celebrate the right way, all right? Let's just jump right into it. I doubt we'll actually get into the game. We'll probably just look at the um, release that EA came out with today, as you can see right here. Series three update details from EA Kralo. So this is the official tissue. Um, this is... I guess it was it's really scheduled to release in the future time, I guess, because I'm recording this October 30th and this is scheduled for October 31st, 1222. But anyway, um, let's just go from the top to the bottom again. This is coming from EA Madden NFL Direct. So it's an official tissue deal. We are getting Series 3 in a week, Friday, November 6th. So here are all the important pertinent details. We'll go through and talk about everything you need to know. Um, seriously, update is targeted to release Friday, November 6th. So you got a week. If anything changes, we will be sure to let players know. Friday, November 6th, your Series 2 trophies will automatically convert to Series 3 trophies. Conversion value for a previous Series program to a new Series program is half. For example, if you have 100 Series 2 trophies, then they will convert to 50 Series 3 trophies when the new Series update launches. Okay, so let's just stop right there. Number one, that means you need to go, and we probably will actually jump into the game right now so I can show you guys literally what you need to do with these trophies. Because what you don't need to do with the trophies is go into here and spend it on Coach Madden. Don't get Coach Madden at all. Um, take the trophies. Number one option, I would say, above all else, is red zone packs. And the math has been done, calculated, tabulated, matriculated, and worked around the whole ea madden community so i'm not going to act like i was the one that came up with it at all but the red zone packs are the best option um or the best value i guess for um whatever you get for your series trophies so red zone pack is the move uh touchdown pack i believe is second behind it for some reason but if you have to choose i would choose between the red zone pack or this most feared hero fantasy pack so this is a most feared hero fantasy pack i believe there are they are also auctionable so that could be dope don't touch these especially don't touch that I, if you want to test your luck with this you could but instead of doing either of these i would say definitely do a red zone pack or try your luck on the wheel of coins i mean if you have say you have 100 trophies or 50 trophies and you just want to do the wheel of coins i've hit this thing a couple times on this account the no money spent account as you can see 89 overall um i've hit the wheel of coin coins a couple times and i've gotten like 30k 40k one time i got like 150k so wheel of coins isn't that bad but number one option definitely most here fit most feared hero fantasy pack number one do not touch coach madden he's not worth it he doesn't get all the cams and the physical abilities all that good stuff if you guys want to know what i'm talking about coach madden let me know in the comment section below maybe i can go into some detail about why coach madden isn't worth it right now unless they change some things with him um so let's go back to the message board here. Also on Friday, November 6th, the new series Redux players will be released. These are LTD player items that were in the previous series that will now be available in packs as non-LTDs. The key changes you will see on the non-LTD players on the non-LTD player items are as follows. The player item artwork will have a different border and stamp and the LTD icon will be removed. The player will item that will no longer quick sell for 250,000 coins, but quick sell for the appropriate amount of training based on the player items overall. So if that seems like um, foreign to you or French, I'll show it in a minute here, um, but I'll keep moving down before we get to the actual cards. As you can see, some of the Team of the Week guys are there. Um, but please know that existing LTD player items from Series 2 will remain unchanged, including their quick sale value. Only the new non-LTD versions of these player items being introduced in the packs as part of the Series 3 update will not quick sell for coins as they are not LTD in nature. But the following list of LTD player items after Series 2 launch will be available in packs. So let's just go check out exactly what they mean here when they say Series Redux for those who might be new. I mean, hey, you might be popping in might be like, hey, what the hell is a Series Redux? So if you go in here to the store right here, if you click Redux, Series Redux right here, 
Um, Brandon Cooks is a prime example of one from series one to series two. Same thing with Kronk, TJ Watt, Gonzo, who I have on my team. Um, you see they have the red border around them. Last year was red as well. Basically, these are the LTDs that came out and we're getting them reduxed, AKA they're being basically reprinted into the market again. So what that does to this is it takes the value of the limiteds that are already out and it drops them. So with that in mind, um, if you have any LTDs that are on this list, it might be time to sell them immediately um, because you already might be behind the eight ball and I'll explain that a little bit. So here's the list of the guys who are getting reduxes. First team of the week, we got Mark Andrews, JJ Watt, AJ Green, Chris Harris Jr., Stephon Diggs, who's a he's probably a really good receiver. He's been a really, really good receiver. So and Joey Bosa legends base. Once again, like all these guys are already in the game with the 91 overall, so we don't have to go through all of them. But basically what it is, is they're getting their 92 overalls thrown back into packs and stuff. It's really inconsequential in the long run because those 91s go into the uh, go into the power ups and then you can just basically get the same thing. So legends get redux, whatever it is, what it is, more more cards, you know, more more high overalls, more training we can get. That's how I view these for redux for these legends, LTDs um, or just literally the player that I can just throw into the power up there. Right here, though, is interesting for a couple reasons. Number one, Jamal Adams is getting his ultimate kickoff. Number two, Khalil Mack down here is the last of the most feared. And I think he's the last of any players, any limiteds that came out recently that are getting redux. So that's the cutoff. And we'll go into who is and isn't getting one in a minute. Um, but right here, LTDs, Rogers Ward, Cook, Kawan Short, Amari Cooper, Micah Hyde, Darren Waller, a Avery Williamson, Matt Stafford, Vita Vey, Brian Ramchek, and Marlon Humphrey. So Marlon Humphrey is the cutoff. These are usually listed in out, uh, order of their release. So if you are up to the speed here of what we're going on with LTDs, Marlon Humphrey was the, Marlon Humphrey and Ryan Ramchek, if we go over here to, so if we go down here and we look at the history of the cards of what came out recently, remember the cutoff is Kilo Max LTD, okay? So if we're looking back, 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 Ryan Ramchek is last week. So Ramchek is the cutoff. Ramchek is the cutoff for LTDs. And then the LTD Khalil Mack right here. Scary Sharp. That October 23rd, a week ago. So who isn't getting a redux? So Joe Montana, John Randall made the cutoff right here. But who cares, right? Um, LTDs, LTDs as we go up here. Scary Strong. We didn't get an LTD that day. That was Tuesday. That's correct. Yeah, we didn't get an LTD. Um, Heroes for the week. So Joey Bosa, we're getting that. That's gonna be the cutoff there for this week is Joey Bosa. So really the only LTDs we're not getting is McCourty and Saquon Barkley are the only two LTDs. Derek McCourty, oh, and DeAndre Hopkins. So De uh, Devin McCourty, is it Devin or Jason? Yeah, De Devin McCourty, Saquon Barkley, and um, DeAndre Hopkins appear to be the only LTDs we are not getting in the series update as redux actually so it looks like what they did was they got all the way up to this week this recent week so in past it was up to the two weeks before series three but um it appears that randall and Mon montana were the last ones to make the cutoff there so we're not gonna get um anybody else or actually i'm sorry joey bosa was the cutoff he was just this past tuesday so yeah, so it looks like if it's the day before, man, that's really close. That's gonna be important to keep in mind for the future um, because Joey Bosa is the LTD that just came out this past Tuesday. Technically, Bosa should not be in a redux if you compare it to years past, um, but him getting one is important to note for the future. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Again, if anything changes on the date um, of when Series 3 update releases, we'll let you know. One more thing to note here, very important. Um, so players can take advantage of new series redux players and packs monthly weekend league rewards for the month of October moved from Thursday, November 5th to Friday, November 6th. So not only is today a great time to be buying cards, in my opinion, I made some big upgrades on no money spent. I added Quinn and Nelson. I added Albert Hainsworth for pretty cheap. I also added uh, Terry McLaurin earlier today. Um, I went through and got a couple guys on the, on the no money spent squad. Again, this is no money spent and we're loaded right now. I got your Michael Finley. I just bought him. Um, upgraded from Uzma to Jermichael Finley. So beast mode, big time upgrades here. I'm probably gonna do something here with Miles Garrett, get him out of there and upgrade to somebody else. It's time to kind of crank this team up to the next gear. We're, we're approaching 90 over ER and it's uh, series three times. So it's time to step it up here. But what you guys wanna do is be mindful of what is going on 
with these limiteds, in particular, the three guys, DeAndre Hopkins, Saquon Barkley, and Devin McCourty, because those guys are not getting redux, right? So let's just go into the auction house, see what they're selling at right now, because I just got a Barkley card on my main account for 650,000 coins, because when series three came out, um, whoever was selling it did not quite read the fine print there and sold him for a little under than what his market price was, which is about 700K. Yeah, so I got him about 650. He's selling at 700K. He's been selling at 700K. He's been between seven and 800. He probably won't drop much lower than what I got him at earlier in the day. But that's 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 pretty solid right there. If you can get him for about 600, it might be a good investment if you can get him for around 600K to get him and then resell him next week because his price is probably gonna go up because that's an LTD, he's not getting Redux. So uh, McCourty here, about the same, 620. He's he's a very, very good safety. So 620, he's about 100K off Saquon, so no surprise there. Um, and we're gonna check out Hopkins real quick. And Hopkins, the least desirable out of all three LTDs and out of the, uh, between him and Cleo Mack, probably the least desirable out of the two most feared LTDs. But that's awesome that he's about 320. So market isn't really reacting as of yet, Maybe people haven't seen the news yet. I'm not sure, but uh, the market isn't really reacting as of yet. Let's go and check out some of the other Redux guys though and see if some of the LTD prices are plummeting. You'd assume they would because people just really just wanna get off that stuff real quick, try to make as much profit as they can because nine times out of 10, those LTDs were either um, pulled out of the packs or they were purchased out of the auction house. So as you can see right here, Matt Stafford, 309 for 92. You know, it's 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 go, it's going down a little bit. We're we're dropping a smidge. Um, not not anything crazy though. So it might be it might not be a bad time to actually sell these guys if you have any of these limiteds in your account. Um, let's just check the 9091 as well, just to make sure that those prices aren't plummeting too bad. Nothing under 130 here. We'll check real quick. Limited edition. Yeah, we're up, still up at 300k here for some of these guys. Wow. So some of these guys are, are rather expensive still. So. Darren Waller's getting a redux and his price isn't dropping at all. So just keep that in mind, guys. Tomorrow might be a good time to keep an eye on some LTDs people might be trying to get off of, trying to sell real quick. Um, so just to recap real quick, Series 3 has been confirmed for next week. You are getting your monthly rewards next Friday. You are also getting the Series 3 update. I strongly suggest loading up on coins between now and then so you can buy packs. At the very least, buy packs with coins if you have to spend money. Um, it's a good time to buy packs at the new series changeover. A great time to buy packs. Redux cards, it's all going to be attached to a link in the description below. If you do want to check out everything, all the whole Redux list is there. Um, and also the trophies, is they're going to convert two to one, basically. So if you have 100 trophies, they're going to convert to 50 trophies to head into series three. So just keep that in mind if you want to do some, bend some stuff in the competitive store. Make sure you buy the right stuff. Do not, do not, do not, do not buy any of those reroll packs that they have listed in the competitive store. These two don't buy them. Buy either that or go over here and buy the red zone pack. Don't buy Coach Madden either. All right, guys, keep that in mind. Please don't buy Coach Madden. Please, whatever you do. All right. Gonna be back tomorrow, maybe with some legend stuff. Who knows? But we'll cut it off right here just so we can get this in before the end of the night. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section below. All right. I'll be happy to help out.